So here's the quadric surface whose equation is x squared plus y squared minus 4z squared equals 4. And again, I'm going to use traces. I'm going to start with the xy trace. The xy trace is defined by uh, z equals 0. If I let z be 0, I get x squared plus y squared equals 4, which is a circle. It's a circle of radius 2 in the xy plane centered at the origin. So let me draw that. Something like this. Now let's move on to, say, the uh, x z trace. The order in which we do these is not really terribly important. That's defined by y equals 0. Uh, if I set y equal to 0, I get x squared minus 4z squared equals 4. You might recognize that from uh, pre-calculus as a hyperbola. Uh, you, you don't have to use all of the, the different features of a hyperbola. You don't have to find the transverse axis and the conjugate axis. Um, the main thing you need to know is what a hyperbola looks like. And mainly, it consists of uh, what we sometimes call two branches. And they face away from each other. And the points that are closest together those are called the vertices, and those are typically intercepts. In this case, notice that um, the uh, hyperbola, x squared minus 4z squared equals 4, it has x-intercepts, because when I set z equal to 0, I get x squared equals 4, which means x is plus or minus 2. It doesn't have z-intercepts, because if I set x equal to 0, I get negative 4z squared equals 4, which has imaginary solutions. So I start with the x-intercepts, which are 2 and negative 2. And then um, those are the vertices. So the, the, the branches of the hyperbola open away from uh, each other. So one opens backwards. That's not good. That's a bad, bad, bad branch. And the other one opens forward. I guess it's not horrible. It's not great either. So then uh, what's left? YZ trace. Defined by x equals 0. Looks like a 6. x equals 0. So I set x equal to 0 here, and I get y squared minus 4z squared equals 4. Again, uh, this is a hyperbola. Uh, this hyperbola has y-intercepts. If you set z equal to 0, you get y squared equals 4, which says y is plus or minus 2. y equals 2, y equals negative 2. There are no z-intercepts for the same reason as before. If you let y equal 0, you get negative 4z squared equals 4, which uh, gives you imaginary solutions for z. So we have uh, a hyperbola in the yz plane, one branch opens to the right, and the other branch opens to the left. So let's try to flesh out what this, without drawing any more traces, although it's certainly acceptable for you to draw more traces, let's try to flesh out what this thing is. Uh, let's change um, drawing tools. So this actually, let's see if I can get this to work. Maybe I need to darken this. Let's, yeah, let's try that. Better, definitely better. This actually, to me, looks like one of those nuclear power plant smokestacks. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, something like this. This is an example of 
a circular, because this trace is a circle. Both of these are hyperbolas. So it's a circular hyperboloid of one sheet. There is a, another type of hyperboloid. It's a hyperboloid of two sheets, which looks uh, very different, actually. Looks like two bowls that face away from each other.